Jeff Greenfield is our senior political correspondent. And Jeff, we just heard from the campaigns. Can you explain to us, using this electoral map, what their plans are? Sure. Uh, look at these blue states. Those are the states John Kerry carried in 2004. Obama has a double-digit lead in all of them, which is 252 electoral votes, just 18 shy. When you add states where he has commanding leads, right now at least, Iowa, Colorado, and New Mexico, those states alone put him over the top without even talking about Florida or Virginia or Ohio. So what does John McCain do if that's the case? Well, he has to take every state that's still up for grabs. He has to take Florida. He has to take North Carolina. He has to take Virginia, where he's trailing, Ohio, Indiana, Missouri. And then he has to take Pennsylvania out of the Obama column. That's why he spent so much time there. That would do it for him, but it's a very tricky road. So how does he navigate that road? He has to hope that people uh, don't like the fact that Obama's on television tonight for a half hour. He has to hope they think he's a little presumptuous. They, he has to hope that the undecided voters, who tend to be a little more Republican right now, older voters, see in Obama somebody they just don't particularly trust. But, uh, Katie, I'm running out of cliches. I mean, he has to throw the Hail Mary. He has to hole out from the bunker. He has to convert the 7-10 split. Uh, you picked the cliche, but it's a tough road for John McCain. All right. Jeff Greenfield, Jeff, thanks so much.